Okay, I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I'm going to do the accent tag challenge. For those of you who don't know, this is something that uh, Professor Bert Vo came up with in 2003, a dialect survey which uh, attempts to map how people from different regions say certain words and uh, what they call certain things. Okay, so I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm not only going to do the tag questions themselves, I'm also going to do a little bit of analysis. Uh, so just some background about me. I'm Canadian. I'm from Toronto. That's where I grew up. However, I've spent most of my adult life as an English teacher in the Czech Republic. So uh, I came to the Czech Republic 20 years ago. I went back to Canada twice for a total of four years but now I'm permanently settled here. And the last place I lived in Canada was Richmond Hill, just north of Toronto, where generally people, I think, speak the same way as in Toronto. Uh, by the way, I just said that word the way we say it in our local vernacular. We don't say Toronto, we say Toronto. Okay, so first I'm going to do the accent tag words. So. It says the following are words you have to pronounce. Okay, here goes. Ant or aunt, roof, root or route, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, sure, data, ruin, crayon, New Orleans, pecan, both, again. Probably. Spitting image. Alabama. Lawyer. Coupon. Mayonnaise. Syrup. Pajamas. Caught. Naturally. Aluminum. And envelope. All right, now I'm going to do the accent tag questions. Number one. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Me, nothing. I didn't know that there was a word for this until I saw the accent tag challenge, but now I know this practice is called TPing. I never had the chance to do this as a kid. Number two, what is the bug that when you touch it curls into a ball? A potato bug. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Pop or soda pop. What do you call gym shoes? Okay, either running shoes or sneakers. When I was a kid, running shoes had currency, and sneakers, I think, was more of an American word. However, it's definitely made inroads into Canadian English. I do use it. I would definitely say sneakers if American company were present. What do you say to address a group of people? You guys. What do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? A daddy long legs. I must admit, though, that again, until I saw the accent tag challenge, I didn't really know what this was. I didn't know it was a spider. I thought it was more like, like a praying mantis or something. What do you call your grandparents? My grandparents, I spoke Serbian with them. But if occasion arose to refer to them in English, grandma and grandpa. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A shopping cart. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? Again, this is one that, were it not for the accent tag, I wouldn't know how you say this in uh, that it has a name. Uh, but okay, a sun shower. And finally, what is the thing you change the TV channel with? A remote or a remote control. All right, so much for the accent tag challenge itself. Now a little bit of analysis. So language and linguistics are something that I've always been very interested in, and for a number of years I've been studying these differences in accent, especially in North American English. Some years ago I wasn't completely sure, apart from certain dialects, what the difference was between how Americans speak and how Canadians speak. But having done some research, here's what I would say. So again, I'm from Toronto, I do have a Canadian accent, but I think that my accent is what you can call standard Canadian. In other words, a rather neutral accent. I think most people in Toronto speak that way. So, for example, I don't have that oot and a boot type accent that many Americans uh, hear when they hear Canadian English. I pronounce the word about. I pronounce it as it's written. Again, about. I don't say a boat. 
or a but or a but or sometimes a but that's probably what causes Americans to think it's a boot that's what a lot of people say in other places but generally not in the Toronto area we generally say about uh, another thing so I said data that's definitely Canadian Americans tend to say data however I would not say uh, for example process a lot of Canadians say it that way I would say it the American way process and I think that's also pretty typical in Toronto so what then would be the most Canadian about my speech I'd say that it's the use of short vowels so simple example uh, how would I say the name of my country Canada to me this is maybe the biggest difference between let's say a pretty standard Canadian accent and a pretty general American accent many Americans would say Canada whereas Canadians would tend to say Canada again I say 10 because these things do vary and Canadians do uh, sometimes uh, get some influence from the media from how Americans speak on that mo note I would say that in Toronto I'd say speech has been getting more Americanized over time so like I said uh, I speak with a neutral Canadian let's call it a TV accent and I say most people of my generation do speak that way the um, really strong oot and a boot type accent you sometimes hear that with older people or with so-called hosers like really like working class people but you don't hear it among the general population in Toronto you kind of have to get further out I don't know Schaumburg Maple before you start hearing that however I would say that uh, younger people than me sound rather American when I was last in Toronto that's 2019 I kept hearing uh, people let's say 2021 20, or so they sounded to me like uh, soft voice Americans uh, here's one specific example back there I tutored a little girl in Richmond Hill so her parents they spoke with definitely a Canadian accent to my ear they spoke like a typical Torontonian of my generation they were about the same age as me however their daughter who was let's say about 10 she really spoke like an American to me I heard those yeah those long vowels like that also another thing as far as I can recall she said the word sorry which I do pronounce the Canadian way sorry she said it the American way sorry and I've heard a lot of people in Toronto say sorry who are a little younger so it would seem like the accent is shifty okay those are my comments so let me know do I sound uh, very Canadian to you or rather more neutral any other patterns you would pick up in my speech let me know in the comments.